The intent of an object-oriented programming language is to provide a framework that allows a programmer to manipulate information after storing it in an object. Objects are self-contained data structures that consist of properties or attributes, methods, and events. Properties specify the data represented by an object. Methods specify an object's behavior. Events provide communication between objects. An object is defined by a class, which is like a model, a pattern, or blueprint from which the class is created. As I said, a class is a blueprint of an object. It is the model or pattern from which the objects are created. For example, the string class is used to define string objects. Each string object contains specific characters. This would be its state. Each string object can perform services, the behaviors, such as the to uppercase method. The to uppercase method will take all of the characters contained within a string and display them in uppercase. The string class was provided for us by the Java Standard Class Library, but we can also write our own classes that define specific objects that we need. For example, suppose we want to write a program that simulates the flipping of a coin. We can write a coin class to represent a coin object. As I said, an object has states and behaviors. States are the descriptive characteristics of the object and behaviors are the actions or the beha behaviors of what the object can do or what can be done to it. Consider a coin that can be flipped so that its face shows either heads or tails. The state of the coin is its current face, whether it's heads or tails. The behavior of the coin is that it can be flipped. The behavior of a coin might change its state. For example, if our coin was um, heads up or had a face of heads and we flipped it and it changed to be tails as its face, that is an example of a behavior changing the coin's state. Classes contain data declarations and also method declarations. Data scope. The scope of data is the area in a program in which the data can be used or referenced. Data declared at the class level can be used by all methods in that class. A class declares the type of the data, but it doesn't reserve any memory space for it. The objects of a class share the method definitions, but each has its own data space. Data declared within a method can only be used in that method, and it's referred to as local data. That's the only way two objects, like a coin, could have different states. A variable ceases to exist, or goes out of scope, at the end of the block in which it was created.